Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here at Target House, uh, which is part of St. Jude here. This is our housing unit that we're staying at while my daughter's getting treated. And I'm doing the video here, at least the intro here, because one of the biggest pet peeves that I have filming videos on the water, um, it happens, you know, unfortunately quite often, but it happened for this particular video about prop baits. Uh, is that I did this great intro on the water, great backdrop where we, we had the baits in hand and all that stuff. Um, and then I get home to edit it and no audio. So we're having to kind of uh, wing it a little bit. And so we're redoing the intro here, um, you know, where we're stand. And I don't have the baits in hand, but I'm gonna put them up on the screen uh, as we talk about them. But essentially this video, is going to be a, a fairly comprehensive, uh, you know, instruction video on how to fish a prop bait. A prop bait is a special category of topwater hard baits that um, encompasses a lot of different styles of, of prop baits. You know, you've got some that have one prop, usually that's on the tail of the bait. Um, you've got some that have two props. That's kind of the most popular uh, version of this category of baits. Um, you've got some that are longer, uh, some that are short and squat, but they all are prop baits and they're designed to do, uh, you know, a few things very well. The first thing that it does very well is that it, those props, when you pull the bait, when you work the bait, and we're going to talk about how to fish a prop bait, uh, properly, but when you work the bait, it's going to, uh, activate those props and they're going to spit and sputter, create a bubble trail. And uh, also, it creates a little bit of flash. Those props, you know, if they're metallic, they're gonna they're gonna flash a little bit, and they're always kind of moving. Even if the bait's sitting on the surface, you know, as it's as it's just you know just sitting there, the prop is going to like always be shimmer it's shimmering a little bit. You know, the sun's gonna reflect off of it. So it's something that even when it's standing still, it still has some attraction to it. Um, the third thing that it it does really well is. Even though it spits, sputters, creates a bubble trail, and has flash, it's more of a subtle presentation as far as the top water goes. It's not going to be creating a ton of noise like a buzz bait or a whopper plopper. Um, yes, it does create a lot of commotion when you're pulling it, but it's more of a, a subtle, like, um, you know, spitting and sputtering when you work this bait. So it does pull a fish out of cover, um, it, it, but uh, it's not one that's going to like pull them from long distances. So it's not a great uh, deep water bait, but it's great for fishing around shallow cover, especially fishing around uh, grass edges, which is where this became most popular, at least in, in my case. You know, I learned about a devil's horse when I was fishing down in Florida. Uh, and that is like a staple for Florida fishing is fishing a devil's horse around grass edges. Um, but it's also really good for fishing around lay downs and other types of isolated cover too and bluegill beds. So um, anyways, let's not talk about it anymore. Let's go ahead and get on the water and let's talk about how to catch fish using a prop bait. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how to fish, how to work this, uh, this style of bait. So essentially, it's a type of topwater that you're pulling with your rod. You're not trying to make walk side to side or anything like that. You're just kind of pulling it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out towards, you know, an area where I think that there's some fish. And I'm going to let the ripples kind of disappear, kind of uh, dissipate. And then I'm just going to simply just pull it forward. All right, I'm just gonna uh, just maybe a foot, foot and a half pull forward and then just let it sit again, let those ripples disappear. And another thing that I like to do, just kind of add in, um, in between you know pulls is just kind of pop it just a little bit. Not so the bait actually moves forward, but just so the, those uh, props just kind of, you know, twist a little bit, just kind of maybe make one rotation just, um, but, it doesn't even have to like rotate a full rotation. It just needs to kind of shift so it catches some light. And I think that that is something that, that really can get a lot of strikes is, is when you just make those real subtle little twitches uh, in between pauses. You know, if a fish is really not sure if it wants to eat it, 
because um, you know those the the poles are a little bit more aggressive a lot of times maybe that just little tiny little twitch where that blade catches some light is enough to get that fish to to bite that bait but essentially just pulling it forward that's allowing the bait to to catch water those props will will create that bubble trail and then let it sit you know it is a very subtle technique and um, really it's it's kind of like fishing a jerk bait in that the pauses in the retrieve are kind of the most important factor you know how long you let that bait sit in a location is super super critical to success with a prop bait and so just pay attention to the mood of the fish if they're really inactive and they want something really slow just let it soak there in a likely spot like if you're pulling it on the edge of some grass or something and you have like a little point that um, the the bait comes to let it sit on that point for a minute maybe you know just kind of twitch it in place for a, a second but that's essentially how you fish it not a whole lot to it um, but uh, you can add your own little twist to it like any other technique but that's kind of the basics on how to fish a prop bait so one thing that i think is also really important about a prop bait is that it's one of the few topwater baits that i really like very calm conditions and sunny conditions as opposed to like overcast you know there's a lot of baits that you want that you want it to be calm but you also want it to be pretty cloudy but a prop bait i find that, that even though i'll fish it in a lot of shade like this this pocket here sun is really important to reflect off of those props and i think that that is a big attraction of this bait um, is that it has those props that reflect sun. So uh, I do think that that sun, it's one of the, the few baits that really excels in sunny conditions as well as cloudy conditions. I mean, I wouldn't count it out in cloudy conditions, but I've had a lot of great success in the sun with this bait. One key thing to, to kind of mention about prop baits is they're generally not a bait you want to fish over deep water. You know, this is a shallow water technique. So like five foot or less, you know, five foot is actually pretty deep for fishing a prop bait, but it's all about shallow cover, shallow cover and shallow shade. There he is, fish. That's a pretty light bite. Didn't really explode on that. He just kind of came up and swirled. Wasn't even sure he had it. All right, but he got it. He got it pretty deep, so I need pliers for this one. There we go. Ah, oh, frozen pliers. Well, he's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna get him in the water, but fun little fish. Nice, on the shaded bank, that's always a key. Tangled. Oh, there he is. Little guy, but he crushed it. Golly. Crazy. When they want it, they want it, man. Oh boy. I like it when I get multiple hooks in them. Little tiny guy, but lots of fun. Um, man, I'm probably going to end up switching to another bait right now. So we're going to just go ahead and close this video up. But uh, in general, man, uh, a prop bait is a really, really good bass fishing bait a uh, good bass fishing topwater bait i'm gonna move this up a little bit um however i will say this in closing uh, a prop bait like this one right here is um a 
kind of a more of a, a specialist topwater bait. There's a lot of baits out there that are really good in a lot of different situations. A walking bait is a really good example where you can throw it in a lot, you can throw it shallow, you can throw it deep, you can throw it in wind, you can throw it in calm conditions. Um, but a prop bait is a little bit more specific in the situations you want to throw it in. You know, grass edges, uh, along like lay downs, you know, little shade pockets, um, but also around the bluegill spawn. Those are really the only situations that I like to pick up a prop bait versus some other type of topwater bait. Um, but uh, even though it's a sp kind of a, a specialist category of topwater baits, um, it's still a really killer one that you've got to have in your tackle box for those specific situations. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about prop baits or any other type of bait, uh, maybe you have a, a category of bait that you want me to do a video on, drop a comment below. And also be sure to give me your feedback. If you end up catching a fish on a prop bait for the very first time because you watch this video, make sure you send me a message either in the comment section or at sonar at sonarfishing.com. I love hearing your stories of success. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you out on the water. Make sure you trust the process.